Licensed psychologists, power professionals, and lay counselors have undergone training to equip them with the necessary knowledge and skills to enable them understand the psychosocial, legal, as well as issues of labor associated with job losses. The training, which was held under the auspices of the Psych Forum, a non-governmental organization in Accra, brought together about 40 professionals from across the country. Speaking in an interview with ABC News, board member of Psych Forum, Ms. Vivian Aubin, said, Training for psychologists in the area of overcoming job loss is critical in an era where the Ghanaian job market has been characterized by frequent job losses. We know that in the past two years in our country, there has been a lot of job losses. And as counselors and as psychologists, we are contacted either by people who have lost their job or by relatives of people who have lost their job. And we need to be able to know the various dimensions. We do know of the psychosocial implications because we are psychologists and we are licensed counselors. However, there are other dimensions to job laws. There are the issues of labor, issues of severance and payment. There are legal dimensions, employment contracts. So how do we help our people when they have gone through this process of a job loss? And how do we ensure that we know what is happening currently in the labor markets so that the advice will be able to help the people overcome job loss? For her part, head of legal unit of the Trades Union Congress, Naomi Nadulati, who spoke on the legal dimensions of job loss, highlighted the two grounds on which an employee can lose his or her job. There are a plethora of grounds on which an individual can lose their jobs, but legally there are two grounds. One is voluntary termination and then the other is involuntary. Voluntary termination has to do with resignation and attaining the statutory retirement age. Whereas involuntary has to do with termination, redundancy and dismissals. The law Act 651, that's the Labour Act of 2003, recognises fair and unfair terminations and sets out parameters within which to act when these things happen. On redundancy, it puts the onus on the uh, employer who seeks to downsize or merge or do any changes or make any changes within their work environment which would result in employ employees losing their jobs to first contact the chief labor officer and then if that um, employee is unionized, contact the union of that employee. After setting out the reasons for the downsizing, the number of workers will be affected and when they'll be affected. After doing that, then the parties are enjoined to negotiate on the severance pay that that employee is entitled to. Other topics that were taken included effects of job loss on the individual, family and society, led by Dr. Mrs. Epifania Emefa Bonzi. Some participants ABC News spoke with affirmed that the training impacted positively on their profession. I encounter clients who certainly would have gone through some psychological trauma as a result of job loss. So coming through this program will... Uh, help me to know much, especially the legal background. So in as much as I'll be counseling them, I can also give them some input on uh, the, the psychology, the psychology, the legal background and then the labor, bag, la labor issues regarding their job losses. The program has helped me knowing some legal implications on the labor law and how I have to upgrade myself, especially with the introduction of the IE which is going to take away lots of jobs, making people jobless. So now I've learned that I have to learn, relearn, and keep learning. The training sought to help participants understand the meanings of work to people, critically evaluate the different forms of job loss, explore reactions and effects of job loss, understand the legal and labor dimensions associated with the subject, as well as explore the concerns of older workers, among others.